high schools don't have shot clocks. When you get to college, you got a 30, cent shot, 30 second shot clock. So those are the things that they're learning earlier, the speed and the mechanical way. Of, yes. So when we're in practice, every practice, every second, every minute is a very high level competitive guy is going to be guarding you, guy's going to be challenging you to make you do different things. Yeah. You know, to, to help him mature, because we've been through it. We've been through the ups and downs as a basketball player at, at every level, college, um, NBA, emotionally, and we're just here to bridge that gap and get them across the finish line and support them in every way, fashion possible. And knowing this is the ups and downs, but knowing to embrace those ups and downs too, because that's part of life as well, because we've been through it. I played on 12 different teams yeah. in the NBA. There was a lot of times where I wanted to give up, but I had somebody in my ear emotionally and physically, and you got to do the prep work before. Yeah. I think they're starting to learn how to do the prep work before. So when you get in, get in the game, it's like I've done it before, and the game slows down. And we want them to have the game slow down to them where they're not just going 100 miles per hour. They're waiting to happen. And they just dish that quick little extra you know, dump off pass to the big. And it's like, yeah, it's the right pass, and I love that, that right shot making ability. And he's a good, great playmaker. That's the most important thing I've, I've found about him. When he's a great point guard, he knows how to read situations. He puts guys in good situations and make good shots. Prepare them for that, um, because you know a pro day's, it, um, it's, you know, it's more than just I guess dunks, but yeah. But we we had an opportunity on the whole year. You know, it's just our principles and different things. We can't go through everything, but it's our principles that we laid when we was back in court four when this building was nothing. Yeah. You know, and how we build on those principles each and every day. And what we take pride in is sticking your man and playing good defense because they understand that. Because once you play defense, you can get your spot on the court. Only thing you want to do is get on the court. Me and Ryan are, 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 are living examples of it, testimonies of it. One more thing about competing. Yesterday as well, we played three on three in front of the uh, NBA Scots as well. So they get. They got to see them in more spacious opportunities to create and kind of evaluate that now in an up and down setting instead of just the offensive side of the ball. Gene, mm -hmm. he scored. Yes. Um, so while I have you guys for this last final minute, uh, <laughs> what is Alex Starr's NBA draft comparison? What have you thought about him? Uh, I mean, I think as the season went on, he, could, he kept improving. And that's the great thing you want to see, especially with kids that, uh, with a kid that's going to be with us for a couple years. Yeah. You Points, because, you know, of course not every player is the same. You look at the frame. You look at, you know, the, the mannerisms and, and stuff. It's, you know, Christian Rue is not this big dude, but he gets it done. You know, he's strong. Here for us, it was fun to coach, and um, I think he definitely has a bright future in his game at the professional level. Well, speaking of the professional level, the ceiling would be, and what is it? You mentioned, you know, the, the development from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. For a man, where would you specifically say he's developed it? So he did a really good job of, I, I don't really like to use the term point guard um, or shooting guard, especially along those lines. So I think uh, that's another area he really improved. And last but not least is off-ball defense. Um, Very difficult to judge his development yeah. based on that. Yeah, <laughs> Cook, Cook was uh, an absolute pleasure to coach. You know, at the start of the year, he played at such crazy tip dunk. Um, and then unfortunately, like you said, he, he went down. And so it's just one of those things where you just, just like, man, this dude just, he just, he really worked his ass off. Um, and he got back on consistently uh, until towards the end of the season. We won about seven games in a row, I think, to, to kind of finish up. So I was most proud and looking at. Right away, okay, boom, a quick, quick surge of emotion. Absolutely correct. You know, with younger players, emotions can often get the best of them. Um, I spoke to a few guys here, and they, you know, mentioned having their moms, like, you know, out on the court, uh, out in the stands, and how important that is to them. But for these, allow their body to follow that emotion in a very positive way. So again, I go back to what we're talking about being youthful. You don't understand the difference sometimes between how to gear your emotion for those things that go wrong during the course of a day. The juices that he has in himself, they, they fly high. And they allow him to do the things that he's that his body has gifted him to do. And and again, growing in that and maturing understanding how and when to use it the right way because something that I that I think he's grown from and and uh, and has become very, very good at guy because then he's like, oh okay, not only does this move work, but it translates to that NBA level. Mm -hmm. So when I talked to Star, he brought up guys like Zach and um, Anthony Edwards. Mm -hmm. So who, who do you? That I'd say to both of them, uh, you know, you score at three levels, behind the three-point line, yes. the mid-range, and that's great. And those guys have a fourth level. So you've seen during that is That is Damian Lillard range, I will say. Mm -hmm. But so with, right back, nope. 
Oh, I thought we were going to highlight on that one. That in play, you know, four years down the road in an NBA career. Professional basketball is played all over the world. And so aside from the NBA, there's a lot of places like where Emmanuel is at right now that you can get paid, benefit, and have a successful career in basketball. Absolutely. And so with the with the culture, I mean, Ooh. as we see, I mean, the effortless dunk right there. I have to emphasize that to these guys every day. I think those that watch the game understand that. And we got 20 seconds left here. Sorry, John, I want to cut you off as we got. Ooh, a nice lob, a nice lob. I mean, he could have he could have rose higher there, but giant advantage. But also, you're a former NBA assistant general manager. That has to be a giant advantage as well. When you evaluate that there'd be an advantage because they really want to hear from the decision makers, you know, what I need to work on, you know, what, what do you like? And, and I'm trying to encourage all our guys. Value. Absolutely. Yep. And, you know, we're, we've gone through an entire season, right? You know, just talking to scouts, looking at our youngest players. Okay. That's actually where you see the, yeah. the, the, the greatest for that professional life. Well, you know, the first is we, we talk about their, their life skills and life skills education. It's not just fine. I want to prioritize that. Uh, because I know that not very many players will be stars. Oh, man. Nice. So, has, so his shooting ability has taken quite a leap from the beginning of the year. Uh, have you focused on the corner specifically with that three-point shooting? To make that hard jump stop, it might crumble when somebody pushed them, just not strong enough in their base. So kudos to the strength and conditioning, the weight room program. I see you, Nate. It was just amazing to watch as we've got another fast break. There's Cook, and there it is. There it is, Cook. Yeah. So the question has been, is he, is he healthy Look. that are working together? Um, coaches want to coach the best players and, and want to put them in schemes. This is about every day taking the challenge. I want to get better. I've got something to prove. Like, this is an opportunity for somebody to leave and say, I, I love the way he moves. Briggs, 4-3. Hey, big shot. Guys come, they put on, they're putting on for themselves, they're putting on for the program. Cool. And they get the you big get offense the rebound. rebound. Shot clock. Yeah, so they're going to have to foul, it looks like. Well, or we have a timeout. We're, we're Close them. Maybe cook three right here. And there it is. A chance at it. Oh, 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 it misses and they're going to foul. There we go. Good look at it. The opportunity uh, gets their moment to shine for NBA teams. Okay, we got one second left. And there's no chance for a miracle on that one. But um, thank you to Brandon Williams for joining me. Absolutely. Um, thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, man. This was great.